What's up gamers? Today on Gamer Rant we're going to be doing a video game rant ladies and gentlemen because apparently, insert tweet right here, Shahad Kamal Ahmad decided to tweet, if you're getting a refund after playing a game for 50 hours, you're a thief. He also apparently decided that maybe that was a little too ballsy of me, so you know what? Let me soften the blow. Um, here's the good news. Most players are not thieves. Most players are decent, honest people without whose support there could be no industry. You know what, Ahmad? Allow Gamer Rant to explain to you why your argument is one-sided, why you're a hypocrite, and why you are no better than Sean Murray and Hello Games themselves. Let's destroy your idiocracy. So in the description of this video you will find three links. The first link is going to take you to a short article that talks about this tweet in a short aspect. The second link links you directly to the tweet itself. The third link is directly to a podcast in which uh -huh, uh, Ahmad, if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, took place in along with two under other individuals. Ironically, they said that it's titled a No Man's Sky Review, but it's more like a No Man's Sky discussion, because at no time do they really actually review the game. They just talk about the controversy surrounding the ga a game. <sighs> All right, Ahmad. You know, as a gamer, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to admit that when you look at the context of many gamers, many gamers do get... They do overhype shit. Many gamers do get way bent out of shape. I actually heard of some gamers actually sending death threats to Sean Murray. And I'm going to tell you right here, right now, I don't give a flying fuck what an individual claims for a product. If you honestly have the fucking audacity to send that individual fucking death threats, you're a piece of shit. You're fucking worse than that individual who lied. And you're part of the fucking problem for making gamers look like childish little fucking kids because you have nothing better to do than to jerk your fucking little dick and go send death threats to some individual that you've never met in your fucking life. So yeah, it's, there's no denying that gamers can be an asshole. Even the so-called gamers, they are adults and act like fucking children. There is scores of these kind of individuals on the internet. Just like there are scores of people that aren't even gamers and they're just classic trolls and do this shit for their own stupid ass reasons. But for you, Ahmad, to sit there and lay claim that gamers are a thief if they played 50 more hours of a game and they then demand a refund, let me explain to you how this works out. Let me give you a scenario, all right? So we have gamers who more than likely have heard the negativity surrounding the game, but they felt that, you know what, I'm not going to listen to that, I'm going to play this game, I'm going to experience for myself. And the reason why they ended up with 50 hours or more is because they were trying to, I'm not saying this is the case for every individual who, who got a refund, all right? I'm not saying this is the case. This is just a possible scenario that we know could have taken place. The very ideology of being open-minded and seeing more side of the story than the first thing that pops in your head, that all gamers are a thief if they decide to get a refund after playing 50 hours of a game. So they're going to give this game and Sean Murray a chance. They go through and they play through this game. And things just to start don't make any sense. They go to different planets and things are just repeating themselves over and over again. Alright? They find out that they don't get to travel to the center of the universe, which is actually claimed on the back of the PS4 case. You only get to travel to the center of the galaxy, and even then you don't get to actually do it. The camera just pans out, you discover a new galaxy, rinse and repeat. How is it that you as an individual can sit there and say games are a liar, but you ain't got the fucking balls to call Sean Murray or Hello Games out on their lying? Because let me explain something to you. It is not that hard not to fucking lie. You don't have to lie to sell a product. Are gamers going to be disappointed if not all the features 
uh, that they would like or that you even claimed uh, would be in the game are not? Let me explain to you how easy this fucking is. Let's travel back in time. Um, <clears throat> let's even go with the, the very last interview that Sean Murray had. We're going to iterate that I am Sean Murray during that interview. <clears throat> and I'm getting the same questions that I have answered before and said yes to. This will be it. All right, and I'm getting these questions. Will there be multiplayer? Unfortunately, even though we wanted this to be a big part of the game, even though it would be relatively small for you to actually run into another player, this is not going to be a feature. This is something we're going to have to add in later due to time constraints, um, maybe even technical issues. We, we couldn't. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you couldn't figure something out. We really couldn't figure out how to get this to work with, with a game of this scale. So this is something that we're going to have to think about, otherwise we'd have to delay the game within of itself. <clears throat> Do you see how fucking easy that was? That is being honest. Would have gamers been pissed? Would they have been mad? Would they have went crawling to motherfucking the internet to fucking cry like little fucking babies? Yes, they would have. But at the end of the day, for those idiots that would have started to cry about it, there would still would have been a nice chunk of gamers that they would have been disappointed they probably wouldn't have picked the game up because they're like, well, I'm just going to wait until they start to update it and they come out with like a Game of the Year edition that includes all the updates and all that stuff like it. But instead, they chose to continue to feed a lie. And what happens when the game comes out and they're called out on it and called out on it and called out on it? They're silent. They don't even want to respond to it. And you ultimately have to ask yourself, as an individual, are they not saying anything because they honestly don't care? They don't care about the, their consumers? They don't care about the quality of their product? I mean, let's just, you know, for, for, for the sake of all iterations, all right? The game comes out. It's getting negative attention. There is absolutely nothing wrong with Hello Games or even Sean Murray doing a video, writing an article, doing something, and coming out and saying, you know what, we'll, we'll even iterate that, that it's Sean Murray who, who decided to do this. All, this is, you know, hypothetical as if, you know, this is just a few, maybe a week or two after the game came out and it started getting negative attention. <clears throat> I would like to address the gaming community. Um, I, myself, a developer of you know, No Man's Sky at Hello Games. I was really excited about this game. I had laid claim more than once in interviews that there was going to be these features and these features. And I think in my own excitement, in my own ignorance, in my own stupidity, in my lack of respect for you as gamers, the people that will eventually purchase and hopefully enjoy this game, um, I should have came out and said this earlier. And I completely apologize. And I understand if you don't want to accept my apology. But I apologize that what I promised in the game, the video footage that I showed and talked about features that are not in the game at launch, I apologize that I lied to you. I apologize if you felt that I was dishonest. I apologize if you feel that I just tried to hype this game up to just to try to take your money. That was not my intention in any way, and in all reality, all of this, all of this negativity, I will admit, is all on me. It's not on Hello Games. This is all my fault, and I know some of you may not, you know, accept my apology, but I hope most of you will. Yeah, I, I made a mistake. I'm only human. I, I thought that we were going to be able to get these features in before the game was going to come out. And long before it came out, when I realized that we weren't going to be able to do this, instead of surprising you, I should have manned up and just been straightforward and honest with you about what was going to be in the game and what wasn't going to be in the game at launch. I take full responsibility for my idiocracy and my incompetence, because at the end of the day, that's what it is. And I just want to let you know that we will continue to work on the quality of this game and although it lacks features I hope you can find it in your gaming heart to somehow forgive me and Hello Games for the mess that we have made surrounding this game. 
we will continue to work and develop on it. And hopefully, in time, we can earn your respect and trust again. To will not only you will continue to try this game at another time, or even purchase it and wait, and of course to continue to buy future products that we make. Because the last thing that I want to do is to segregate our consumers and our fans from my own stupidity. Do you see how fucking easy that shit is? Would you have had a lot of gamers that would have been fucking pissed? Yes, but at least you would have been fucking honest. At least you would have admitted to the mistakes that you made. What is the point of telling, and, and, uh, telling children when they're growing up that it's better that you own up to your mistakes or tell the truth rather than to lie? If adults themselves can't fucking do it. It's not that hard. Would he have gotten negative backlash from either of the examples that I gave? Yes, he would have. But then there would have been justification for calling other gamers out on their stupidity. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video in some fashion or form, gamers. And remember, if you're not voicing your thoughts and concerns about the hypocrisy and the controversy surrounding No Man's Sky, gamers, Sean Murray, and Hello Games, you just might be a part of the motherfucking problem. Tactical nuke!